Mountains aren't just pretty to look at. They're also not just something that you need to climb. They can be filled with some crazy and mysterious things like the Yeti of the Himalayas or even Noah's Ark. This altar was discovered um, by Adam Zertal from the University of Haifa. Today we bring you 20 mysterious things people found in the mountains. <coughs> the Baluchistan Sphinx. We all know about the Sphinx, but did you know there may be more than one? In the heart of Pakistan, a country known for its stunning landscapes, spicy cuisine, and cricket fanatics, a group of archaeologists stumbled upon an extraordinary discovery that left them scratching their heads in astonishment. Tucked away in the dusty plains of Baluchistan, a 12,500-year-old sphinx, yeah, you heard that right, a sphinx, emerged from the sands like a long-lost relative of the Egyptian cousin. As news of this peculiar finding spread like wildfire, locals couldn't help but ponder how a sphinx had managed to navigate its way to Pakistan without anyone noticing. Some imaginative minds even concocted theories involving ancient trade routes, teleportation, or a feline tourism agency that specialized in sphinx sightseeing. Heck, we even have our own theories, but none of them are good. Despite the fanciful speculations, the archaeologists had a more grounded explanation they believe that this enigmatic sphinx was the product of a long-lost civilization that thrived in the region thousands of years ago, rivaling the grandeur of the pharaohs in distant Egypt. They attended a sphinx sculpting workshop or simply binged on too many Egyptian documentaries. As international experts flocked to the site, debates erupted about the possible significance of this unexpected find. Some suggested that it had guarded a hidden treasure inspiring a new generation of Indiana Jones wannabes to embark on an adventurous quest across the Pakistani desert. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. Take a look at this image. Because scientists have just made a chilling discovery about spotting this high up on the mountain, you may not be able to make it out because the image isn't that clear. But if you look closely, you'll look at stones that kind of resemble Stonehenge. There's a huge mystery behind this image because no one quite knows how these stones got here. They don't know if they're man-made or if they may even be extraterrestrial. Let us know what your thoughts are. When you take a look at the image yourself, let us know in the comments below. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Never had the giant red statue of what looks like Buddha gotten people talking so fast. Straight out of Nepal, this statue has the internet abuzz. No people are talking about it because of the representation. Some say it shouldn't look the way it should. They also don't like the government's involvement with the statue. Everyone had their expectations of what a statue like this should look like. It's left people divided nonetheless. We don't really have a dog in this fight, but it is interesting to see everyone talk about a giant red statue that kind of creeps us out if you ask us. Machu Picchu Oh, how he loves saying this next one over and over and over again. It reminds us of a Pokemon. In the magnificent Andes Mountains of Peru, a place where llamas roam freely and altitude sickness lurks around every corner, lies the marvel known as Machu Picchu. This iconic Incan citadel has captivated adventures and history buffs for centuries, drawing them in like magnets to its mystical allure. Legend has it that Machu Picchu was built as a royal estate for the Inca emperor, making it the ultimate hideaway for the ruler who wanted to escape his nagging advisors and enjoy a quiet weekend getaway. Little did he know that his secret mountain retreat would become a global hotspot for his selfie stick-wielding tourists. Getting to Machu Picchu is no easy feat, as eager explorers must embark on a treacherous journey that involves steep climbs, precarious bridges, and the occasional encounter with a mischievous llama who seems to have mastered the art of photobombing. But the reward at the end is well worth the effort, a breathtaking panoramic view that makes you forget about the altitude-induced dizziness. As visitors traverse the ancient stone paths, they can help but wonder how the Incas managed to construct such an intricate city without the aid of modern technology. Did they have a super advanced version of Tetris where they could perfectly fit giant stone blocks together? Or did they simply bribe the mountain gods with offerings of coca leaves and llama wool? While the mysteries may never be fully unraveled, one thing is certain, the site contains the enchant and inspire awe. So, if you're up for a thrilling adventure and a chance to commune with llamas in the clouds, 
pack your hiking boots and prepare to be amazed. Just remember to bring your sense of wonder, a camera with plenty of storage, and maybe a few extra oxygen tanks. Happy trekking! Noah's Ark In the realm of biblical legends and extravagant tales, a group of intrepid explorers has set their sights on an audacious quest, finding Noah's Ark atop the fabled Mount Ararat. Armed with their trusty hiking boots, compasses, and a suspiciously extensive knowledge of ancient boat-building techniques, these self-proclaimed experts are determined to uncover this long-lost ark. Rumor has it that they even brought a pair of ark-locating divining rods, just in case the mountain decides to play hide-and-seek, as they venture higher up the rugged slopes of Mount Ararat. Braving blizzards and dodging curious mountain goats, the team scans every crevice and rock formation for signs of the elusive ark. They consult ancient texts, squint at satellite images, and even tried deciphering cryptic messages left by Noah himself. Apparently, he was quite the graffiti artist. Skeptics, of course, dismissed this expedition as nothing more than a wild goose chase. They argue that finding an enormous boat on a snow-covered mountain is about as likely as discovering a unicorn in a Walmart parking lot. Nevertheless, these brave explorers remain undeterred, fueled by their unwavering belief in the ultimate treasure hunt. Whether they'll stumble upon the remains of Noah's Ark or merely come across a long-lost Yeti's vacation home remains to be seen. But one thing's certain, their journey serves as a reminder that human curiosity and imagination know no bounds. So, grab your popcorn, sit back, and watch as the search for Noah's Ark unfolds in a captivating tale of faith, determination, and perhaps a touch of wishful thinking. Viking Sword in the enchanting landscapes of Norway, where fjords and trolls reigned supreme, a hiker stumbled upon a discovery that sent Viking enthusiasts into a berserker frenzy. Picture this, an ordinary hiker innocently wandering through the wilderness, when suddenly, lo and behold, an extraordinary millennia-old Viking sword materializes before their eyes. Cue the dramatic Viking battle music. This unsuspecting hiker must have felt like they stumbled upon the holy grail of hiking souvenirs. Forget about pine combs and pretty rocks, this Viking sword, complete with intricate carvings and a handle that looked like it could double as a majestic beard comb, became an instant sensation. News of the sword spread faster than a Norse raiding party, capturing the attention of historians, archaeologists, and of course, a horde of overexcited Viking reenactors. There were whispers of valiant battles, epic quests, and possible connections to mythical legends. Who knows, maybe this sword was once wielded by the mighty Ragnar Lothbrok. Or perhaps it was used in a heated dispute over the last piece of Lutefisk. As experts examined the sword, they marveled at its impeccable preservation, wondering if Vikings had access to a magical eternal sword maintenance kit, or if the sword simply had an excellent dry cleaning service. The hiker, meanwhile, transformed into an instant celebrity, hailed as the modern-day conqueror of Viking relics. While the origins of the sword remain undetermined, one thing is clear, it's reignited the world's fascination with the fierce and fearless Vikings. So, the next time you go hiking in Norway, keep your eyes peeled for any signs of Viking treasure. You never know when you might stumble upon a mighty sword, a shiny helmet, or even a well-preserved Viking selfie stick. Cave of Hands In the remote Patagonian wilderness where the wind howls like a frustrated opera singer and penguins strut around like they own the place, lies a hidden gem of prehistoric art known as Cueva de la Manos, or Cave of Hands. This ancient gallery, dating back thousands of years, has become a pilgrimage site for art enthusiasts and aspiring finger painters. We only kind of mean literally. Inside the cave, one can find a mesmerizing display of handprints adorning the walls, as if the artist had a sudden urge to leave their mark after a particularly wild finger painting session. Some speculate that these handprints were early attempts at creating the world's first high five murals, while others argue that they served as a primitive form of graffiti to claim the cave as a hip hangout spot. It's like the museum of art without all the hipster stuff. As visitors explore the cave, they can't help but wonder about the individuals who left these imprints. Were they artists seeking eternal fame? Or perhaps they were just tired explorers who stumbled upon the cave and thought, hey, let's leave our handprints here for future generations to admire. While the exact meaning behind these ancient handprints remain a mystery, one thing's for sure, the artists had quite the sense of humor. 
Amongst the handprints, you can find an occasional painted llama or a cheeky finger mustache, giving the cave a playful and whimsical ambiance. As tourists marvel at the artwork, some can't resist the urge to add their own handprint to the mix, hoping to achieve a similar level of artistic immortality. Just remember, aspiring handprint artists, bring your own paint and consult your local cave regulations. Let's not turn this prehistoric gallery into a modern finger painting frenzy. So, if you're in the mood for a journey through time and art, make your way to Cueva de las Manos. Explore the cave, channel your inner caveman or cave woman, and leave your mark on history, figuratively of course. The world is waiting to high-five you. Three-headed arrow. In the land of fjords, trolls, and vikings, a remarkable archaeological find has set pulses racing faster than a berserker charge. Deep in the Norwegian wilderness, a treasure hunter stumbled upon a Viking three-sided arrowhead, sending historians into a frenzy of horned helmet adjustments. This unusual arrowhead, shaped like a triple threat with three razor-sharp edges, has left experts scratching their heads, wondering if it was designed by a particularly creative Viking engineer or simply a result of an intense game of darts gone wrong. The discovery of this triangular weapon has sparked intense debates among Viking enthusiasts. Some believe it was used for hunting mythical creatures, like sea serpents or flying reindeer, while others argue that Vikings were simply trying to one-up their archery game with fancy multi-edged arrows. As archaeologists delicately studied the arrowhead, they couldn't help but admire its craftsmanship. They pondered if the Viking blacksmiths had an affinity for geometry or if they simply loved the challenge of creating an arrowhead that could poke an enemy from multiple angles simultaneously. Meanwhile, Viking reenactment groups eagerly awaited the arrowhead's unveiling, already envisioning epic battles and eye-catching reenactments. The triple-edged arrowheads became the hottest topic in the Viking cosplay community, inspiring ambitious warriors to polish their axes, sew their tunics, and practice their most intimidating war cries. While the true purpose of this peculiar arrowhead may never be known, it serves as a reminder that the Vikings were a complex and resourceful civilization. So, whether you're a history buff or a Viking wannabe, keep your eyes peeled for more archaeological surprises. Who knows, the next discovery might be a Viking spatula or a three-pronged Viking pizza cutter. Prepare yourself for an era of sharp and pointy utensils. Ancient Hebrew Writing In the dusty landscapes of Israel, where camels roam freely and hummus flows like water, a sensational discovery has left archaeologists for Klimt and religious scholars cavalling. Brace yourselves, for Hebrew writing has been found at Joshua's altar, sending shockwaves through the archaeological community. This mind-boggling find has caused a collective oy vey among experts who thought they'd seen it all. It's as if Joshua himself left a post-it note for future generations, reminding them to pick up milk on their way home from conquering the Promised Land. As the news spread, scholars started debating the significance of this Hebrew writing at the altar. Did it reveal a secret recipe for an unleavened bread that could rival even the most celebrated babka? Or maybe it contained a shopping list of ancient treasures, including gold and a lifetime supply of locks. While other skeptics question the authenticity of the finding, arguing that it could be a clever marketing ploy for a biblical-themed reality TV show, others remained resolute in their belief that this discovery could rewrite history. They imagined biblical characters pinning messages to their loved ones, scribing ancient emojis, or even leaving Yelp reviews for the best falafel stands in Canaan. Regardless of the ultimate meaning behind these inscriptions, one thing is certain. Joshua's altar has become the hottest spot for Hebrew handwriting analysis. Calligraphers, linguistic experts, and amateur sleuths are now flocking to decipher these ancient writings, hoping to uncover the secrets of the promised land and perhaps a few divine punchlines along the way. Mazel tov to the lucky archaeologists who stumbled upon this linguistic treasure trove. Adolescent Mummy In the mystical lands of Peru, where llamas reign supreme and ceviche is considered a divine delicacy, archaeologists have unearthed a truly astonishing discovery that's true to make the undead jealous. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves for the unveiling of a 1,000-year-old mummy. This ancient Peruvian resident, who was busy minding their own business for the past millennium, has suddenly found themselves thrust into the limelight 
becoming the ultimate celebrity of the archaeological world. As experts carefully examine the preserved remains, they marvel at the mummy's impeccable condition, wondering if they stumbled upon the secret recipe for eternal youth or if Peruvian embalmers were just exceptionally good at their job. Perhaps it's all those guinea pigs they fed to the mummy in ancient rituals. Speculations abound regarding the life and adventures of this mummified Peruvian. Was the mummy a fearless warrior who battled rival tribes with potato guns and llama cavalry? Or maybe they were a peaceful llama herder who had a knack for knitting fashionable alpaca sweaters. While the true story of this 1,000-year-old mummy remains unknown, one thing is certain, their unexpected rise to fame has turned the archaeological world into a frenzy. Paparazzi from ancient Egypt are already booking their flights to Peru, hoping to catch a glimpse of this legendary mummy and maybe score an exclusive interview. So, mark your calendars and prepare for the ultimate throwback as this Peruvian mummy takes center stage. Who knows, they might even release a hit single or start a TikTok dance challenge. It's time to unwrap the past and give this ancient superstar the recognition they deserve. Lost Dutchman In the rugged desert landscapes of Arizona, where cacti stretch their arm like grumpy old cowboys and tumbleweeds race like miniature NASCAR drivers, lies a legendary tale that sparked the imaginations of treasure trove hunters and fortune seekers for generations. Prepare to delve into the tantalizing mystery of the Lost Dutchman's gold mine. Legend has it that a German immigrant named Jacob Waltz, aka the Lost Dutchman, stumbled upon a gold mine so rich and elusive that it makes Willy Wonka's chocolate factory look like a lemonade stand. But here's the catch. The mine's location remains a secret, known only to the spirits of the desert and a few stubborn conspiracy theorists. Over the years, countless adventurers have ventured into the treacherous, superstitious mountains. Armed with nothing more than a rusty pickaxe, and a bucket full of hope. Some returned with tales of perilous encounters with rattlesnakes and chola cacti, while others claimed to have glimpsed the mythical Dutchman's ghost chuckling from a hidden cavern. The allure of unimaginable riches has spawned a whole industry of treasure hunting enthusiasts, each armed with their own theories, maps, and theories about maps. There have been more treasure maps circulating than you can shake a saguaro cactus at promising the discovery of gold nuggets and more yee-haws than a rodeo. While the Lost Dutchman's gold mine continues to elude those who seek it, one thing is certain, the quest for hidden treasures never gets old. So grab your cowboy hat, pack some sunscreen, and prepare for an adventure that could make you richer than a celebrity cactus farmer. Just remember to watch out for scorpions, bring extra water, and maybe leave a trail of breadcrumbs to find your way back. White Mountain Petroglyphs In the rugged wilderness of Wyoming, where cowboys ride off into the sunset and bison roam free like furry tanks, lies a hidden gem of ancient art that has people scratching their heads and squinting their eyes in confusion. Get ready to explore the enigmatic White Mountain Petroglyphs. These intriguing rock carvings, etched into the rocky canvas by mysterious hands long ago, have left experts puzzled and tourists wondering if ancient aliens made a pit stop in Wyoming for some artistic expression. The petroglyphs depict a myriad of symbols and shapes, from mysterious spirals that look like curly fries to squiggling lines that resemble a toddler's attempt at drawing a snail. As visitors hike through the picturesque land, they can't help but ponder the meaning behind these petroglyphs. Were these ancient maps to secret buffalo watering holes or simply a Neanderthal's doodles during a particularly dull mammoth hunt? The world may never know. One thing for certain, though, the White Mountain petroglyphs have become a hotspot for armchair archaeologists and aspiring Indiana Joneses. They meticulously study the carvings, armed with magnifying glasses, cameras, and a burning desire to crack the code of ancient Wyoming art. Mystery of the Sailing Stones on the scorching deserts of Death Valley, a peculiar phenomenon has baffled scientists and inspired a wave of conspiracy theories. Get ready to set sail with the mysterious sailing stones. These stones, found scattered across the desert floor, have a knack for defying gravity and common sense. Instead of staying put like responsible rocks, they embark on spontaneous journeys, leaving behind mysterious trails as if they've attempted a secret rock party and decided to slide across the sand like rebellious teenagers on a joyride. 
Scientists have scratched their heads trying to explain this supernatural stone behavior. Some have proposed that mischievous aliens equip these rocks with miniature rocket boosters, while others speculate that they are secretly training for a desert Olympics or a synchronized stone swimming. Regardless of the true cause, Death Valley has become the ultimate destination for aspiring rock whisperers and sailing stone enthusiasts. Armed with cameras, magnifying glasses, and a sprinkle of hope, they tiptoe around the desert, eagerly awaiting the next stone's grand voyage like devoted fans at a rock and roll concert. Tourists are warned not to get too close to these seductive stones, as they have a tendency to play hard to get and might roll over your unsuspecting toes. Remember, folks, it's a rock, not a dating app. So if you're ready for a mind-boggling adventure and the chance to witness rocks showing off their dance moves, head to Death Valley. Just don't forget your dancing shoes and a healthy dose of skepticism. Who knows, you might catch a stone mid-sail and become the ultimate sailing stone paparazzi. Smooth sailing, my friends. Mozu Furiichi Kofun In the land of ancient burial mounds, where history lies beneath the soil, the Furuichi Kofun cluster stands as a testament to Japan's rich past. Nestled among the rolling hills, these burial mounds have captured the imagination of archaeologists and curious onlookers. Legend has it that these mounds are the final resting places of great rulers, their tombs shrouded in mystery and grandeur. But let's be honest, who doesn't love a good old-fashioned treasure hunt? With shovels in hand and a twinkle in their eyes, archaeologists delve into the earth hoping to uncover ancient relics and hidden secrets. As they excavate, the discoveries come pouring in. Ornate pottery, ceremonial swords, and intricate jewelry emerge from the depths, revealing the opulence and artistic mastery of a bygone era. One can't help but marvel at the craftsmanship and wonder about the stories behind these treasures. But amidst the excitement, there's always room for a bit of light-hearted speculation. Did the ancient rulers bury their favorite snacks with them? Perhaps there's a secret stash of mochi hidden deep within one of these mounds. Archaeologists beware, you might find yourself in a sticky situation. And let's not forget about the mythical creatures rumored to guard these ancient burial grounds. Are there mischievous kappa lurking in the nearby rivers, waiting to play pranks on unsuspecting adventurers? Or maybe, just maybe, there's a mischievous fox spirit with a penchant for mischief and a wicked sense of humor. As visitors explore the Furiichi Kofun cluster, they can't help but feel a sense of awe and respect for the people who came before them. These burial mounds stand as a testament to a rich and complex history, inviting us to ponder the lives and legacies of those who once roamed these lands. It promises an adventure filled with ancient wonders, amusing tales, and perhaps a few surprises along the way. Just be sure to keep an eye out for those spirits and remember to bring some snacks to share with the ancient rulers. Who knows, they might appreciate a taste of the modern world. Sacsayhuaman In the high-altitude haven of Cusco, Peru, stands a mind-boggling archaeological site that has historians scratching their heads and tourists trying to pronounce its name without spraining their tongues. Brace yourselves for the marvels of Sacsayhuaman. Perched on a hill overlooking Cusco like a protective mama llama, Sacsayhuaman is an ancient fortress that defies the laws of physics and common sense. Its massive stone walls, so meticulously crafted that not even a credit card could squeeze between the blocks, leave visitors wondering if they've stumbled upon the work of ancient aliens or a team of overachieving giants armed with stone-cutting lasers. As tourists explore this architectural enigma, they can't help but marvel at the sheer scale of the construction. It's like someone decided to play an epic game of Jenga with stones the size of small houses and succeeded with flying colors. Forget about mind over matter, here it's all about stone over everything. Legend has it that Sacsayhuaman was built by the Inca Empire as a fortress and ceremonial center. But let's be honest, this place looks more like a playground for ancient architects who had a penchant for stacking rocks like they were competing in an ancient Peruvian version of Tetris. Nebra Sky Disc In a small German town, where bratwursts are king and beer flows like a never-ending river, lies a treasure that has astronomers and archaeologists wondering if ancient Germans had a secret obsession with disco balls. Get ready to shine a light on the Nebra Sky Disc. Discovered in the depths of a dark cave, the Nebra Sky Disc is a small bronze disc that's perplexed experts since its unearthing. 
decorated with golden dots and a curious arrangement of celestial symbols, it's like a cosmic jigsaw puzzle that even the most dedicated Sudoku enthusiasts would find challenging. While the disc's purpose remains a mystery, theories range from it being an ancient time travel device, move over Doctor Who, to a prehistoric frisbee that could summon UFOs. We can only imagine the ancient Germans hurling the disc across the fields and shouting, it's raining sausages, as tourists flock to the museum to catch a glimpse of this enigmatic artifact. They can't help but feel the strange cosmic connection. They ponder if ancient Germans were avid stargazers or simply wanted to impress extraterrestrial visitors with their celestial fashion choices. If you're ready to embark on a journey through time and space, or at least through the German countryside, make your way to the Nebra Sky Disc. Just be prepared for a serious case of celestial confusion and the nagging feeling that your jewelry collection is in desperate need of a cosmic upgrade. Beam me up, Scotty! Serpent Mound This one doesn't need an intro. Welcome to the Serpent Mound. Located in rural Ohio, the Serpent Mound is a colossal earthen effigy in the shape of a snake that slithers through the landscape like a prankster snake charmer. It's the kind of place that makes you double-check your surroundings to ensure you haven't stumbled into a bizarre hybrid of Jurassic Park and an Indiana Jones movie. Here's a question. Was it built as a cosmic playground for ancient astronauts or a clever marketing ploy to attract Indiana Jones wannabes? The world may never know. But one thing's for sure, this is one snake that won't be asking for a mouse anytime soon. While the Serpent Mound's origins remain shrouded in mystery, one can't help but appreciate the dedication and craftsmanship that went into creating such a massive earthwork. It's like a giant game of connect the dots, where the dots just happen to be several feet long and made of dirt. Lycian Rock Tombs In the rugged cliffs of ancient Lycia, where goats frolic and archaeologists hike in their finest cargo shorts, stands a collection of rock-cut tombs that have more character than a soap opera cast. Get ready to be tombstruck by the Lycian rock tombs, located in present-day Turkey. These tombs are carved into the cliffs like giant stone beehives, leaving visitors wondering if ancient Lycians had a secret obsession with living in rocks or simply enjoyed a good game of architectural hide-and-seek. As tourists explore these ancient resting places, they can't help but imagine the ghostly whispers of long-gone Lycian inhabitants, or more realistically, wonder how many pigeons have called these rock chambers home. It's like stepping into an ancient hotel where the room service is non-existent and the rates haven't changed in centuries. While the purpose of these rock tombs remain a historical enigma, experts believe they've served as final resting places for Lycian nobility. It's like the VIP section of the afterlife where the deceased could enjoy a stunning view, avoid nosy neighbors, and throw epic ghost parties with a view to die for. So, if you're ready to delve into ancient funerary architecture and ponder the meaning of life while avoiding pigeons with a grudge, make your way to the Lycian rock tombs. Just be prepared for a serious case of rock envy and the nagging feeling that your home decor could use a few more stone-cut chambers. Lycians, rock on! Mount Owen Moa now we take a second to talk about a fossilized mystery that has paleontologists scratching their heads and adventure seekers wondering if dinosaurs had a secret love for jazz hands. Enter the Mount Owen Claw, a remarkable relic that puts Wolverine's claws to shame. This humongous fossil, resembling a giant raptor's toe on steroids, has the power to make even the most skeptical museum goer gasp in awe and consider a career in paleontology. With its impressive size and intricate details, it's like the Jurassic Park version of a high five, ready to leave its mark on history and maybe scratch a few backs along the way. So if you're in the mood for a prehistoric high five and an opportunity to channel your inner Indiana Jones, head to Mount Owen. Just be prepared for a serious case of fossil envy and the realization that your collection of pebbles from the beach is a little less impressive. Mount Owen Claw, the dino jazz hands we never knew we needed. The Hittite Sanctuary in the ancient city of Hattusa, where Hittites roamed and scribes battled with their quills, there lies a rock art treasure that has art historians scratching their heads and tourists wondering if prehistoric painters had a secret obsession with cosmic graffiti. Behold, the Hittite rock art with its mind-bending depictions of cosmic creatures and celestial symbols. It's like an intergalactic art gallery where aliens critique cave paintings and ponder the meaning of life while sipping space lattes. 
As visitors gaze upon these ancient cosmic doodles, they can't help but wonder if ancient Hittites had a hotline to the cosmos or just a really wild imagination. Dolmen Site In the sleepy town of Antiquera, Spain, where the sun shines brightly and the siestas are legendary, lies a treasure trove of ancient wonders known as the Antiquera Dolmen Site. These dolmens, or megalithic tombs, have stood the test of time, and they're not just any tombs. They're the ultimate real estate for those who prefer a little extra legroom in the afterlife. As visitors approach the dolmens, they can't help but marvel at the sheer size of these monumental structures. It's like the architects of the past decided to go big or go home. Who needs a cozy little burial spot when you can have a spacious stone chamber fit for a king? It's the ultimate bachelor pad, complete with stunning views of the surrounding countryside. And let's not forget the ingenious engineering skills of our ancient ancestors. The dolmens were built using massive stone slabs that were somehow transported and arranged with precision. One can't help but wonder if they had access to an early version of the world's first moving company or a team of prehistoric cranes. As visitors enter these grand tombs, they're greeted by an eerie yet awe-inspiring atmosphere. The cool air and dim lighting add an air of mystery to the experience it's like stepping into a time capsule where the past whispers its secrets and the present is left in awe. But be warned, for legends speak of mischievous spirits that roam the halls of these ancient tombs. Some claim to have seen shadowy figures darting in the corners, while others swear they heard whispers in the wind. Don't worry though, they're just there to keep you on your toes and add a touch of excitement to your visit. Who needs a haunted house when you can have a dolmen adventure? Outside the dolmens, the town of Antiquera beckons with its charming streets and delicious tapas. After a day of exploring ancient history, visitors can indulge in the present by savoring mouth-watering local delicacies and sipping on refreshing sangria. It's the perfect way to recharge and reflect on the marvels of the dolmens. And there you have it. You never quite know what you're going to find in the mountains. It can be a place of great mystery and awe, one we definitely don't take for granted. We'll be here to tell you all about it next time, because we're sure there will be even more mysteries to uncover. <laughs>